Today we're going to talk about what we call the best buy. All right. In order to figure out what is the best buy of anything, we go and we go out and we compare prices. And how do we do that? Okay. Let's do this exploration now. Joe is at a Canadian Tire and he wishes to purchase about eight liters of oil. Right now. We have these two options. One that's for ten dollars and forty nine cents, and another one that is for thirty four forty nine, right? But you notice that both of them, both of them require you to pay, require you to get different amounts, right? One is one liter, and one is four point four liter. First thing you have to understand is we got to figure out how we can compare which is the better deal. Now, you could look at the following. You could compare the price, the liters, or the size, or any combination of those. Now, today's lesson is about how we would compare stuff like this, okay? Now, the key unit is, the key idea is to use a thing called unit price, okay? Unit price basically takes the price and we divide it by the amount for each of these calculations, all right? Now, I'm not going to show you how to do it right here. We'll go and practice it on the next page. Now, in the previous example, there were two types of, of oil. There was mobile A and mobile B right now what we were actually comparing was a thing called the unit cost now the real answer for the previous question so the key idea is to always consider dividing the price by the amount of something now you'll notice that both of the amounts have to be in the same units so for mobile A, we had $10.49 divided by one liter. Divide that out. You end up with $10.49 dollars, dollars per liter. Now, for mobile B, we're going to do the same thing, right? And in this case, you're going to have 34.49. Remember, it was a big thing divided by 4.4 liters. It's amount, right? And... Here is the best part. You end up with something that looks like this. So this is dollars per liter. So you would look at these two possibilities and you'll notice that one costs less than the other. And the one that is less is the cheapest, which is what we want. So the key idea for this whole thing is to have is to do price divided by amount for each item, right? And we compare the unit prices and always take the lower one. Now, the types of unit prices that we have found in the past are the following. And so in other places in the world, we usually, we usually use dollars and cents, but in certain places, like the ones we know, America, Canada, Jamaica, and Barbados, we use the dollar. In Costa Rica, we use the peso. In the Netherlands, we use the franc. And in France, we use the franc or the euro, period. Now, let's move on to one example that you can use to do your homework for today. All right, so here's task one, okay? There are two types of cheese on sale and we need to determine the unit price per 100 grams and we're trying to try to find out which one is the best buy let's call the deal for the first one at 4.99 to be a and the second one to be b okay now here is the calculation that we get for a and then b so when we calculate a its original packaging is 500 grams, right? Now, when you go and do this, you end up ending, you end up with five, the amount divided by this, and it ends up with, with this number, 0 
as our answer when we take four ninety nine dollars and we divide by the number of grams. Okay, so this is going to be dollars per gram. Okay, now if you wanted to turn it into a hundred grams, all we got to do is multiply this one by a hundred. But you'll see that we don't need to do that in order to compare the two prices. Now, for B, for number B, this is what we get. So we end up with B being 9.29 divided by 9.08 grams. Okay. Now, you divide those out and you end up with this decimal. Okay which means it's 0, 0.0 blah, blah, blah per gram, okay? Now, you'll notice that this one here is less than this other one. So, therefore, A is the cheaper buy. And we're done. Now, that's it. That's exactly how you do the comparison. So every kind of task that we do, we're always doing the dollars divided by the amount. Could be days, could be grams, could be liters, anything. And we just compare and find the cheaper amount per gram, per day, per whatever. And that's it. Okay? All right. That's your work for today. Questions will be posted online. So... In essence, you just got to remember the unit price is equal to the dollars divided by the amount of what we're comparing. Compute it, and then we compare the numbers. And that's it. Okay, good luck.